नमस्ते एंड वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू श्री पोचार श्रीनवास रेडी गार आनरबल मिनीस्टर एंड अदर डिग्नेटरी ऑन द डयास ई फील इट्स मै प्रिवलेज टू बी हियर एंड शेर ए फ्यू थॉट्स वित् यू ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ दि नेशनल सीड इंडस्ट्री असोसिएशन टू विच आई एम द आई एम द प्रेसिडेंट नाउ बिसाइड्स एज ए प्रैक्टिशनर ऑफ सीड इंडस्ट्री फॉर मोर दैन थ्री डिकेट्स I have participated in this National Seed Congress on a few occasions earlier, and I find this to be a very useful forum for the seed sector participants, including seed companies, the researchers who are involved in crop breeding, the machinery, and uh, other uh, suppliers of the seed coating chemicals, etc. This is a great occasion for all of us to meet in one place. share our ideas and thoughts work for the future growth of the industry as has been stated by the speakers before me we all know that seed contributes significantly to the crop productivity and enhancing the farmer's profitability and hyderabad plays a key role in production of many crops more particularly the hybrids of rice cotton um, corn pearl millet etc etc even the agriculture research is all centered around hyderabad with uh, more than uh, five icr institutes the international institute of icrisat so this has created a very congenial environment for the r and d activities which uh, which are the growth engine for the seed industry and uh, coupled with the suitable climate conditions uh, we, this city of hyderabad and the state of uh, the new state of telangana have become the hub for the seed sector with the facilities available not only in telangana but also in the neighboring states like andhra pradesh and karnataka i think we will continue to play the seed capital role even in the future producing seeds not only here but even in the neighboring states as i stated and also with the proximity to the markets i think we will continue to play a key role but more importantly i see a great future for exporting the seeds out of india from here like the agrochemical sector today if you look at them more than what they sell in india they are selling outside india same is the case with pharma for which again hyderabad happens to be the base so we can follow some of the cues from these sectors and continue to improve our r and d abilities and look at markets outside india so thereby what we have been doing here in india we can also do it outside india particularly to those countries in asian and african regions we need certain support from the government of india some certain policy support from the government of india in the form of easing the process of exports the issue of phytosanitary certificates the issues of making it easy to uh, easy for the products to be evaluated in those countries and harmonizing certain uh, standards among the countries so that this potential can can get realized very soon helping the farmers of all those developing nations like the way we have done in our country <clears throat> i am sure there will be a lot of interaction <laughs>